right behind you, bro. Going ape like bait, had to put it on the tape. Boy, you know I'm about paper. If she press them in shape, sir, laying wood by the eight, sir. Don't bring your girl, I will take her. My magic Johnson, no late, sir. Leave a shook like a quake, girl. I am from LA, where every year we from hysteria. Jay Newton is a kid from Ellenwood who, in the fourth grade, had a dream of being a rap star and <laughs> haven't looked back since. And, you know, it's been a long journey uh, up until this point. I've had humble beginnings, performing in front of nobody, getting no type of love, no type of support, but still trying to push through. And, you know, every year, layer by layer, I, I kind of get closer to that goal. And, it's, it's just humbling even looking back at all of this footage and seeing how literally nobody supported me. I had my friends, I had my homies who, you know, tried to show love and downloaded my mixtape or whatever or was inside my music videos. But at the end of the day, I, I started literally from the bottom and, and built my way up inside the city of Atlanta and my college in Kennesaw in Georgia State, you know, I was all around performing wherever I could. Now, I'm headlining my own shows and going on tours independently. It's definitely not overnight. You know, it's by the grace of God. Right around, yeah. 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 What's up, boss? Man, how you doing? What's up, boss? What's up, boy? You got that hat? Yes, sir. Yeah, on the night, man. Yeah, on the night. Okay, a little five one. Yes, sir. What ticket don't sold out yet? Nah, let me know. You trying to pull up? Family is everything to me. It's one of the pillars inside my life that I really cling on to, and you know, my heartbeat really is my great grandmother. You know, a little background. She has dementia, so oftentimes I just stop by to talk to her and just jog her memory. No. Doing good. This is Sean. This is oh, how you doing? How you doing? I'd like to see you and meet you. Nice to meet you too. Nice to meet you. What's your name to? I ain't been up in there. <laughs> <laughs> Try to make it. I feel it. I feel it. <laughs> and uh, grandma, she at work? Yeah, yeah. She got me to work. Hey, look. Hey, look. Hey, Jay. This is in my prom, man. He was cold, bro. I'm trying to tell you, bro. Look, man. <laughs> they, don't, they don't believe me, bro. They don't believe that I'd be playing football. The bro. man was I cold. Yeah, I'm doing all right. I'm doing better. For real. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm doing good. You been taking your medicine? Yeah. Yeah. Make you feel any type of way? No. Hopefully with all the treatment and everything, she's able to, you know, get back up on her feet and and just be able to, you know, live without that that burden on her. It's bigger than me. It's not just me rapping to rap. You know, I do it for her. I do it for a lot of my family who depend on me. <laughs> Like Dolly Mama, yeah. Oh. And you know we got 
god. <laughs> oh yeah, get that shit right. Oh my god, boss, he just proved. Oh my god. <laughs> and you know that nigga move. Nigga move? Move real good for a big man. <laughs> <laughs> we got CJ, that's my six man. Ooh. 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 He be spraying, yeah, quick man. Ooh. Ooh. Take the beat and walk away. A lot of times I get a lot of credit at eight, but I can't really stress how much it's a team effort and how I feel I have one of the greatest teams, you know, known to man. You know, at the root of everything is Jock Beats. You know, Jock is a musical genius can rap, produce, play instruments, engineer, he does everything. And, you know, he's really, like he says, the bit toe of ape. Then you got Cleo Trapper, you know, my my best friend, like my personal DJ. She's my left hand. And, you know, everything, this whole journey has been through Cleo. And it wouldn't be the same without her. And so she's so instrumental to everything that we got going on over here in ape. You got to kill Shaw and Three Way, both R&B artists, the personalities of the group, honestly. Three Way is my blood brother, but of course, you know, both of them are my brothers at the end of the day. You have myself, who's an artist, creative director, and, and event programmer, and then you also have UV Lifestyle, who is a DP and visual director, and together we form 808 Film. You might not see him often because he's behind the lens, but... Uh, he's definitely a goat, you know. And then the brain of everything is Boss Man Beats. You know, me and me and Boss Man, we grew up together. We've known each other since sixth grade, met in band, and he's been literally the focal point of my entire career. You know, everything from the production to engineering, it all came from from him, and I'm extremely grateful and I'm proud to be able to call him my brother. You'll always see him, you know, in the corner making sure that. The sound is good or, you know, everything is a chord. We call him Joe Jackson because he's the one that we always try to please at the end of the day. But, you know, that's 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 the team, man. And um, I think that you know, going forward into this new decade, like these are the people that are the solid foundation of what the future of music can possibly look like and be like. Hey, man, so another night. Another night, bro. It's the night before I announce the show. Um, and just pray for me, show. Bruh, I'm nervous, bro. It's supposed to have, it well, originally it was supposed to have uh, me, Wiley, and Clue. But, you know, my man Wiley, he famous, so he gonna be in LA. Oh, yeah, so, yeah, you told me about that shit. Yeah, he got, um, well, I can't really speak on, you know, can't really speak on. Right, him. right, right, right. He's famous, so that's what It's gonna be all cool, so it's gonna be just me. It's gonna be me and Clue, or whatever, holding it down, bro. Uh, I'm nervous, bro. I ain't even gonna lie, bro. I'm not gonna cap. I'm, I'm mad nervous. I don't know how this is gonna go. The show is in, in January, so that's my main thing. Like, I don't know if, because it's like almost six, seven months, six months, whatever, way if people still gonna be emotionally connected to it you know what i'm saying it was a dense album so i don't know how many times people like replayed it or whatever i've seen the streaming numbers and stuff but you don't know how how often like somebody's just like playing the album and so like i don't know i don't know how he's gonna do it but guys told me that he gonna sell it out um sell it out huh sell, I'm, bro, look, I'm about to manifest it so you know that it's no bs i'm about to tweet it out um he said I'm right now. Tweet, yeah, I'm gonna tweet it out right yes, now. Yes, sir. Hey. If it if it happens, it happens. That's that's a hell of some confidence. Hey, bro. If it don't happen, all I have to do is just delete the tweet, right? <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> it never, it never, it never went never down, bro. It I was hit. never a thing, bro. But no, I ain't gonna delete the tweet because that means it's gonna happen sometime. But you I'm feel me? If not now, then it's it's for sure in the future, yeah, bro. Like, I'm you feel me? Right here, I'm gonna put my next headliner show. Uh, manifesting that my next headline show, I'm gonna sell it out. And we're gonna see what happens, bro. Worst
talking about ever, 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 ever. Yeah, I should've realized this is goodbye. Dead or alive, I know. Dead or alive, I know. Should've realized, I know. This is goodbye, I know, I know. I know, I know, I know, I know. Thank you. Um, <laughs> so, this is another song. We doing the whole album basically anyway, so shit. Fuck it, let's get into it. Okay. Well, if y'all didn't turn, y'all gonna have to see this shit. They need to get that shit back there today. Yeah, yeah. So to be the truth. I really think it's time that we get to the root Cause lately I've been trying to live on different rules But why you say this shot you think I'm bulletproof? You should see the wound, put it on the table So what's your angle? Used to be my angel, now I'm feeling strangled All of my emotions keep getting tangled in you Don't know why you think that I can see these changes in you It's getting cold, can't find your soul, yeah, yeah I'm on a roll, are you at home, yeah, yeah That you would try that brand new whip right into my heart And you got all these new feelings that you never shown Got all of these emotions that you never let go Yeah, please let it go Why you always turning up into something? Shit is getting kind of bad, it's disgusting I think that you gave me no other option I got no problem, but it's nice Is this all just a game in your eyes? Well, I don't want to play, pick a side well, I don't want to play, is this all just a game? Well, I don't want to play, pick a side. Why you always turning up in the song? Yeah, shit is getting kind of bad, it's disgusting. I mean, that you gave me no other option. Got no problem, cut it ties. Is this all just a game in your eyes? Well, I don't want to play, pick a side. Well, I don't want to play, pick a side. But I don't wanna play, pick a side uh, uh. Thank you <laughs> So shit, um Since I feel like we got so close, you know Whenever I make new songs, I just try to, you know Play it for my family and my friends And so since we just, you know, got acquainted I feel like y'all my family, so I just want to play some shit that maybe not out yet. So I'm gonna invite my brother, let her in up real quick. Got my brother up, man. <laughs> well, shit, this shit is called How. And um, I think the ladies gonna like this shit. Um, oh, no. Yeah, how you let a bro nigga break your heart? How you let a lame nigga break your heart? Yeah, you know you was supposed to be with me from the start. But you were too much to let it face you. Yeah, how you let a bro nigga break your heart? How you let a lame nigga break you? Yeah, you know you was supposed to be with me from the start. Love, I'm playing you, Lenny. No, I'm not acting, I don't need no whippy. But if you were mine, I'm proud of the penny. You deserve better than ever, ever. And you know it, girl. 
You feel so bad in that nigga nigga wrote this on the show, you girl yeah. How you let a bro nigga break your heart? How you let a lame nigga break your heart? Yeah. You know you were supposed to be with me from the start But you been through too much to let it phase you But I'ma let you run before I chase you yeah. I feel like you should say something We both in the dark, tell each other nothing Put it down when he puts you down Never gave you back your soul, that's what kept you around You won't let me fall to my vice That's why cause you one of my vices He did you wrong, I was right You hate that I'm right and so righteous I be a shoulder to cry Then I be your saddle when night hit I be a shoulder to cry. You're a glow in the night. Yeah. How you let a bro nigga break? I know this is a lot of music, guys. It's a lot of hits here. I'm sorry. Uh, uh but <laughs> I got one more. And uh, this shit is called Lover Boy. If y'all know this song, sing it. Feeling like I'm on this 
personal life for me. Paradise is all I see. I'm the main girl, want you to be. She keep hitting my phone. I had to get away. Touch down the other day. Three day, two night shade. Everyone can get down. This song got me emotional, bro. Like for real, for real. Like this, my mama's here, bro. My mom's on the corner, bro. She's over there, bro. Bro, this is the first time she's ever seen me perform. My auntie is here. We about to see how many people know me, real quick. Let's get it. Showers in a strip club, single sit in the flow. Thinking we were once kids, playing Nintendo. Now we having babies and blowing on endo. Shooting and slanging, popping pills, and we are banging. Meanwhile, I'm sipping and singing. All of my friends are strippers or they rappers now. All of my homies are parents or they trapping now. All of my exes are happy without me now. Yeah. Yes, I know that's how we be. Yeah. Still, I feel so jealous. Yes. Ooh. Yeah. Ow. I 
a duality in in my parents because mm -hmm. my dad was just he's like me he's very forward so he he's very ambitious he talks he's a people's person he goes around the world to travel and talk to like yeah. you know youth and whatever so mm -hmm. he's a great man you know what i'm saying he's somebody that i look up to like greatly mm -hmm. and and strive to be like as far as a man but um with my mom you know she was exposed to so much just growing up like she didn't have a dad she doesn't know her dad at all like she like grew up with her grandmother and her mom got a relationship later mm -hmm. you know so she never had the examples of how to be a parent how mm -hmm. to be you know a wife how to be a girlfriend whatever because she wasn't exposed to that growing up so it's like having me at a young age at 18 19 while also trying to figure yourself out as an individual right. um Obviously, it's, it's like not gonna. You don't even have really time to figure out yourself. You have no time because you're, now your your whole life switches and you're 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 dealing with um, being a parent of a kid and two kids at that. Yeah. And so, you know, while my dad was able to have the structure of like a two parent home, mm -hmm. which allowed him to go to college and which allowed him to, you know. Um, eventually find God and be mm -hmm. able to be a pastor and mm -hmm. and get married and have like you know a home unit that wasn't the case for my mom so right. dealing with living inside this spectrum of life growing up in this environment and then being able to go to a Gwinnett or go to a Swanee mm -hmm. and you know spend the weekend with my dad where everything just seems peaches oh. I know that I can go to the kitchen and get a snack right, right, I know right. that I can you know expect to go out to eat you know, on Saturday and Sunday after we go to church, wow. you know, there that wasn't a norm for me growing up with my mom. Like mm -hmm. we would have to find out what we was going to eat. We right. was going to have to, you know, make sure that we were able to provide or make it, you know, with situations like struggling with bills, all that. I was exposed to that super young. Right. And so um, outside of all of my siblings, I was the one who had the both sides nobody else had the both sides it's either left or right and so why were you the only one? because i was the only one with my parents so i don't have like siblings that are from my mom and my dad oh, okay. i have like you know like siblings from my mom and then siblings on my dad's side right. with my stepmom and so um dealing with their situation they don't know anything on the other side you know, my siblings over here only know this. My siblings over here only know wow. that. And with me being dead in the middle, in the middle, and also old enough to understand the situation of both and where they were and where they are now, it 
honed into like how I perceive everything inside the world, literally yeah. everything. Everything. And so I a think a lot of people don't have that. A lot of people don't have two sides. You know, they yeah. literally only have one perspective, one way they've grown up, and sometimes that is hard for them to right. see it from the other right. side because exactly. you have no experience exactly. in it at all. And
together, but we might as well be Living in her room without a fee, she catered to me I can see in her eyes I'm everything and more She's optimistic about the future and what is in store You know my end, I'm scared to love her like I should Cause though I'm capable and this love affair feels good This ain't my first rodeo, I done seen it all I feel like I might just go down three. Or go up nine. That's what I was saying, nigga. It's, yeah, it's, like, it's down like, three or up nine. But that nine is like a stretch, but it's like it's just a little bit, and it'll be kind of a little bit. Oh, nigga. That shit ain't gonna be. Wait, 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 wait. It, it might be fine. It might sound good. That's what I'm saying. Get on my end, I'm scared to love her like I should Cause though I'm capable and this love affair feels good This ain't my first rodeo, I done seen it all I done loved and hurt her others, I ain't tryna fall too deep in that cycle again So I get cold and don't let her in She doesn't understand I'm selfless and I'm tryna save her heart from the start You don't wanna love me in this stage of my life I've grown with older age, now I'm wise Me being too focused leads to compromising your time and attention Only late nights and early mornings will suffice We go out maybe once or twice I mentioned, but I know she's in love, though she's never told me. Before I leave, she just wanna hold me. This time makes me feel like it could be the last. I want it to last, but how can I slow down when my entire life I'm living so fast? Young and naive, she doesn't have a past. I'm my first love, first everything. Pretty sure she thought a wedding rings addicted to her presence. I flame brightens the more that I hit. In hell, it's hell. I'm stressed. Why can't I commit? Uh. Wanna say, Jake? I'm about to say. You better take that bitch up. Ah, that nigga trying to have a way to sign. Nigga trying to draw. Nigga trying. You're gonna be in love. You're gonna be in love. Y'all hear the vocals? Your boy coming with a tape. Maybe. <laughs> so you're gonna be oh, in love. What are the words? What's the official words? You know, I really should find those. <laughs> so Google is a friend. I definitely played the shit out of this song today, so I should know. Hey, you remember that nigga that was crying, bro? Shoot it, go get Shoot it. Shoot it. Bro, that nigga said. He said, uh, it's like, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 said, you said, you you whip you, so I'm not gonna touch you. <laughs> Keep dancing. Why me down? Who's 
His younger brother died at a party. Okay. Um, no more and, parties in Atlanta. Yeah, no more parties in Atlanta. And he died at a party. It was the same weekend that we shot uh, Sauce With Your Mama, the wow. original one. Wow. So while I was about to upload Sauce With Your Mama, I'm getting the news that, you know, Jesse, his name was Jesse, um, died and at a party. I'm seeing footage of him outside the party. Like, but this the me I'm on everybody know, bro. I'm fearless. You can't be scared of shit. Fearless, like you can't tell me anything. You know, at this moment, moments later, you literally die. Yeah. You know, so it, it really crushed me. It really was something that was um, so sad. And it was, it was something that was hard to take into because I was just like, wow, I related to him so much. And I relate, and I was so happy for where he was and where he was going. Like that really, really like touched me and hurt me. So that was something that I was like, you know, I have to speak about this. I have to talk about him and I have to big him up in some type of way. Phone lights, phone lights, yes sir.
gotta unify its lines They care about stars more than they care about the skin of headlights at night In my rear view, scared of police flashing has just been crazy because no one has seen this side of you you know what i mean and i think a lot of people have like a lot of people no matter how they grew up were able to relate to it you know what i mean whether it had been you know on the relationship side or it had been on the similarities of how they grew up with you you know what i mean so i think like that was a that was good for you that was a good feeling yes it was it's relief because you didn't know yeah it's such a relief and it's it's the greatest feeling when you see the music connect you know what I'm saying? When when you're able to see, like we've been working on this album for two, three years. Right. So it's like just for it to be appreciated in this streaming area for like all of a month, mm-hmm. you know. But it's it's about making music that stands the test of times and and has like you know content that people can relate to in a sense where you're able to, you know, save somebody's life with your music. You're able to, you know pull people out of dark spaces with the music and it's like if I can do that Mm -hmm. with anybody then it's a win you know what I'm saying I can if I can do that with anybody then that's my Grammy that's Mm -hmm. my you know um my accolade you know because that matters more to me than a trophy that matters more to me than status or billboard or whatever um connection is all i ever wanted with music right 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 and so i just want the world to hear it because i feel like it's an album that can do that and stand the test of time y'all don't understand how much this means to me but i'm like for real shit
I was God when I was when I was like maybe like three years ago. What really sparked that album was God told me what my purpose was. You know what I'm saying? He He broke me down at one of my lowest times and told me what my purpose was and he wanted me to bring people closer to him. Mm -hmm. That was my purpose. He wanted me to really be the reincarnation of my dad but at a younger time okay. in order to do it um, in my medium so I can touch as many people as possible mm -hmm. in the span of time that I have. Mm -hmm. And so I've known this since 2016. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's what sparked you know, songs like Forever Give You Glory or whatever mm -hmm. where I tried to like tap into it but I got to places where I got away and I was able to um, be lost in sin, pretty much. I, I, you know, had, you know, a very lustful, you know, outlook on life. And so, um, and with my own personal ego, like I was real big on just like, you know, I want respect and I want love and I want affirmation from other people and these people to, you know, validate me. And so God was like, you know, the only person that you need to look for validation is me. Recline. You can't see me in it. I walk in the booth like I'm Caitlin Bennett. I unload the clip. It's been a minute. I shoot from the logo. I shoot from the hip. I really miss. They want me to slip. Young, keep waiting. Quit all the debating. The best over all. Why they hating? I'm skating. In line. Sell out the venue. No cosign. Better invest while you can. I'm a cash cow. I'm a gold mine. All facts. There's no flex. They study my stock like 4X or the NASDAQ. Get on the track and I add tag.